So you guys all know that I am a big fan of the Wise products. I have a whole bunch of their cameras. I have a thermostat. I have a vacuum cleaner robot thing. One of the biggest things, though, that I miss about my Nest cameras was the fact that I could simply go online and watch my cameras from my computer because there are times, like today, when I'm expecting a package to be delivered and I am sort of a paranoid, anxious type of person. So I like to just pull up my front door camera and watch that and see what's going on. Or perhaps while I'm here working, I want to check on, uh, you know, my dogs, which you can see one up there. And I like to be able just to pull up my cameras and see what is going on from my computer. Perhaps it's a laptop and I'm out and about and I want to check it on there. Well, it's not something, you, I mean, you can do this with Wise, but you have to pay for it. And if you're like me and all your cameras are just saving straight to SD cards and you're only paying for uh, the, the pro subscription on one of these cameras, this is not something that is super easily accessible. You can see here that I only have, I'm only, like I said, paying for one camera. It's a front yard camera. And that's actually not for this ability. It's actually for some other enhancements that that pro subscription gets you. So let me click on play there and you can see uh, what I'm looking at. Live stream requires Cam Plus on all of the other ones. Now there is a solution to this problem that I actually really, really like. Now let me preface this thusly. This only applies to you if you are running Windows 11 and your computer is capable of installing the Windows subsystem for Android. Now this is going to sound perhaps complicated to some of you, but if you are using a computer running Windows 11, this should be more than likely something you can do relatively easily. So let's jump into the steps to do this now. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to open up the Microsoft Store and you're going to search for Amazon App Store. You'll see this here, okay? You see how it's got a 1.8 star average? That's because it's terrible. But you do need to install it anyways because this is going to allow your Windows 11 computer to run Android apps. And yeah, spoiler alert, we're just going to install the Wise Android app on your computer. But it is not in this App Store, okay? But you still need to install it. So install it. Uh, click continue, all the things you need to do to get this actually installed. It's probably going to open up and you can just close it. You can just close it and ignore it because you're not going to be using it anyways. Now we're going to go back up here and we're going to search for Android Sideload. And you are looking for this one here, WSA Sideloader. Install that as well and it's going to look a bit like that. But we need to kind of set this aside for now. Go ahead and hit your start menu or your start button is probably a better way to say that, and type in Windows Subsystem for Android. Click on that to open up those settings. We're going to go over here and click on Developer, and we're going to toggle this box to On. So now we are in Developer mode. Now you're going to see this number here, 127, da 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 Okay, it should already have this correct, but if that number is different from this number, make sure that this number is written here as well. Now, we're going to go to the link in the description. This is a website called APK Mirror. They take Android apps and they back them up on their website. I've been using them for a really long time and it's absolutely totally fine, totally safe. It's fine. So we're going to go to the most recent one. Maybe you don't want the beta. Maybe we're just going to use this one. You actually did install the beta and it's fine, but maybe you want to get the most recent non-beta you can see here. Click on the little download button. Uh, scroll down until you see not the one that's a bundle. See how this says bundle? We don't want that. We want the regular one. Click on the little download button again, and you should have that file downloaded. Now back on the side loader, you're going to browse, and you're going to select that file that you just now downloaded. And it may at some point in this pop up and ask you to allow something. Basically, it's a developer option thing where it's connecting to your virtual Android install. It just wants you to click allow, click allow, and you're fine. So double click on that file and click on install. It's cut off here because of how this is being captured, but it will then take a moment to install this Android application. And once this is done, you should get this. Let's open the app. And this is what we have. This is now running directly on my computer. So let's click on outside and you will see that there is my front yard camera, which is loading the live stream of, you know, the Android app. Sometimes it's a little bit slow to do this. I can scroll down. There's the backyard one and the backyard two. They are all now functioning. Of course, this does look squished because it's squished. If I were to pop it over to my other monitor like so and go back to this again and click and click. Now we have a full screen look at that front porch camera, which uh, yeah, looks totally fine to me. And the cool thing here is that all of our features are going to be 
uh, functional. I can take a picture, I can record a video. One thing to note is that of course you can go back to your main menu and at this point, my robot vacuum appears to be functioning correctly through this implementation of the Wise app, but my thermostat does, for whatever reason, just crash the app outright. I'll try and click on it here and it should just crash. I can go back to the main menu and go into my events and see all this stuff. Now granted, it is scaling in a weird way, right? Because this thing is just not meant to be running on this screen. So you'll see that your previews are, are largely, even when you change the, the shape of the box, your previews are gonna continue to look a little bit strange. But then of course, if you click on the camera, it should load it incorrectly and everything's going to be okay from that point forward. And of course, if you full screen it, 16 by 9 is the correct aspect ratio for this video. So at that point, everything should be absolutely fine. So aside from just paying for Cam Plus, which if you have multiple cameras could end up being a decent amount of money. And if you're like me and you're saving everything to the SD card anyways, you don't want a subscription. This is the best solution I've come up with so far. The best solution I have come across. You can do some other things with... VLC media player, but that stuff was very complicated. This was like a three minute setup process for me. So hopefully you have Windows 11 and you can set this up as well and begin viewing your cameras very easily and freely from your computer. Guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe so you don't miss out on more content like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.